हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर जागृति वाजपे एम बी बी एस एम एस ऑफ जेटिक्स एंड गैनिकोलॉजी विद दिस वीडियो आई वॉन्ट टू हेल्प ऑल ऑफ यू हू वॉन्ट टू टेक ऑप्शन गाइनी एज अ करियर आई एम टू परस्यू ऑप्शन गाइनी एंड आई होप दिस वीडियो विल बी हेल्पफुल टू यू द वेरियस प्रूस ऑफ ऑप्शन गाइनी आर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स एन एवरग्रीन ब्रांच यू विल हैव अ होल्ड ऑफ फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इन योर हैंड्स यू विल नेवर गेट रन आउट ऑफ पेशेंट्स सेकेंड इंस it's an highly versatile branch you get to practice like a radiologist at one point in a day and on the other point you can uh, very well act as a physician and the, on a different instance you can uh, act as a surgeon so you can have the benefits of both the world third it's an highly rewarding branch when i say rewarding both in the terms of earning as well as doctor satisfaction in case of earning you know after being an oxygen gynae sky is the limit and fourth one it's in a uh, Ending up, or you can say it's a terminal branch. Unlike medicine surgery, you need not to do super specialization after your MD and MS degree. It can go very well. Like any other branch, Oxen Gynae has its shares of cons as well. The first of all will be the long working hours, obviously, and then the number of emergencies, which are quite high in this branch, and the third is toxicity, the much publicized one. And to deal with this toxicity, you have to build your mental as well as physical endurance if you really want to pursue Oxen Gynae. Always remember, residency stays with you for three years, but the branch will stay with you for the rest of your life. The first year of residency will be full of uh, paperwork, but you will get to do small uh, procedures such as Pap smear, uh, endometrial aspiration, re-suturing, episiotomy. As you move towards the second year, you will get to assist in various surgeries such as cesarean sections, various gynecological procedures, and the primary management of the patient will be decided by the new. and in the third year you will get time to study you will have cases and seminars to present which will uh, start in second year as well and then you can get hold uh, on your surgical skills by practicing more uh, sections and more gynecological procedures the oxen gynae is a terminal branch but there have been new horizons after this branch uh, the npe provides mph degree in certain super specialities such as fetal medicine urogynecology oncology and infertility and if you develop interest in laparoscopy then you can uh, very well go with your trainings in minimally invasive surgery and uh, if you wish to get uh, settled in abroad then mrc od which is a license examination for united kingdom you can prepare for it and get uh, qualified to practice in uk as well dnb is equivalent to ms or md but is not equal to md or ms which is uh, rightly said so if you are getting uh, md or ms of skinny in a periphery college also and if the conditions are sustainable then you should go for md or ms degree but uh, if you really want to pursue this branch and you are not getting md ms then you can go for dnb but always remember for surgical branches like of skinny you should also prefer uh, you should always prefer good institutes uh, which are offering dnb and then again uh, if you really want to pursue this branch and you are not having such a good rank that uh, you are getting good colleges for dnb then you can do dgo as well and after dgo you have to pursue then secondary dnb to get equivalent to dnb candidates and ms candidates so after 3 years of residency the salary of an sr varies between 1 to 1.5 lakhs across the various states of india and after doing sr shift how much you earn totally depends on your hard work the time you are investing the capabilities you have developed the skills you have developed and whether you are practicing in a periphery setup or in a main uh, main city setup so in oxen gynae as you already know the sky is the limit it totally depends on you your hard work your capabilities and how much investment you are doing i hope this video uh, must be helpful to you in clearing some of your doubts and uh, believe me if you really want to pursue this branch don't hear to anyone just do what your heart wants to do and uh, just maintain your sanity uh, during this 3 years of uh, residency and i'm sure you will come out with flying colors